Hello, and welcome to Cal Poly's Cal State Applied video series. In this video, we'll show you how to create an account on the Cal State Apply website for all your CSU applications. To begin, you will navigate to www.calstate.edu forward slash apply. Once you do, you'll see this screen and you'll scroll down to the bottom and you will use the drop down list to go ahead and select the fall term that you are trying to apply for. Remember, Cal Poly only allows all undergraduate applicants to apply for a fall term. Once you've chosen your term, you are then navigated to Cal State Apply. This is where you will go ahead and create a username and a password, and you will hit Create an Account. Please note that all the starred fields are required in order to successfully submit your application. When you scroll down, you're going to enter all of the information in the fields provided. Please note that under the name section, you must enter your legal first and last name. If you only have one name, enter it in the applicable slot, then enter a period for the unknown name field. Under the contact information, it is recommended that all applicants use an email address that you frequently check to avoid missing important application updates. All the schools you apply will use this email in the application for portal setup and notifications of status. We do not recommend using an email address that are tied to a high school or a college server or a family network, as these may not receive messages due to the firewalls and other protections. You'll want to enter a phone number and check the box authorizing for contact. Under the username and password, it's important that you keep this login information secure. Also, please note usernames and passwords are case sensitive. Please take note of the following requirements for each of the passwords. Your password must meet these minimal requirements in order to be successfully submitted. Once you've created a username and a password that you're happy with, you'll agree to the terms, answer if you're part of a union data protection, and click Create My Account. At this point, your account has now been created. Once you've clicked on continue, you will now start your extended profile. When you get to the extended profile area, you will need to indicate a degree goal. Please note that for all undergraduate applicants, you will want to choose first bachelor's degree. Please note that Cal Poly does not have a second bachelor degree option. So if you choose that and you're applying to multiple schools, likely Cal Poly will not show up in your program list because we do not offer second bachelors. You will also wanna indicate your current educational status, which means you're graduating high school or you're transferring in from a community college or four-year institution. Again, if you're a freshman applicant, even if you have some college credits, you will go ahead and put graduating from high school with or without college coursework. You will indicate whether or not you are a returning student. So this is somebody who has already applied to college and attended for a while and is now returning. For a freshman, you're going to say no. You will indicate your U.S. military status and dependency and whether or not you're an international applicant. So once you've filled out that entire extended profile, you'll go ahead and hit save changes and you're ready to move on please do not hesitate to contact admissions office with questions or concerns, and we wish you the best of luck.